Hi everyone, I'm Logan. And I'm David. And today we're going to be talking to you guys about our van life and essentials. So we have 10 things that help us while living in a van and improve our quality of life. And we want to make it clear that if you guys want any of these things in your van or in your tiny home or the space that you're living, um, maybe don't take all of them. Take which ones stick out to you the most and run from there, basically. Yeah, these are our essentials. And none of these are actually in order from 1 to 10, like best to least. But we will let you know our favorite. Yeah. Let's get sure. started. Okay, so the first one is... Definitely for all you ladies out there, a hot water bottle. Guys might not understand, but cramps get pretty bad. And when living in a van, you want something warm that you can put on your stomach. This also comes in handy when you don't have a heater or maybe it's just a little bit cold, not worth it to turn on your heater. Mm -hmm. But put boiling water in here, cuddle up in bed, and it's like having a snuggle buddy. Alrighty, next up is an essential oil diffuser. Mm -hmm. This one's fantastic because it's actually 12 volt charged. It's got a rechargeable battery in the base and it charges through USB. This thing lasts a long time. You put water, essential oils in it, and it's fantastic. These are great because let's be honest, we all fart. And if you're in a small space, it's not very nice. These will cover up any unwanted smells, especially from cooking or anything that's lingering. Mm -hmm. And I know Logan loves this because we don't like to use chemicals in the van uh -huh. and essential oils are all natural. So it's fantastic because you're breathing this stuff in. You don't really want to be breathing in chemicals. Yeah, for sure. Um, another thing is pillow covers. So we have a little bit of a mention in this in our van tour video, which will be linked in the bio below. Um, sorry, description below. But what you do is you go to Ikea, the thrift store, wherever you can find pillow covers, preferably with a zipper so it's easy mm -hmm. access. Um, and you can stuff sweaters, blankets, whatever you don't find yourself using that often into there. And then you place them on your bed, on your cushion, on your uh, seat, sorry, or wherever you're sitting. And no one knows that there's storage in there. And it's just a good way to get more use out of the space that you have. Next up, packing cubes. This one in particular is fantastic because it's see-through, so you can actually see what's inside. Mm -hmm. If you're like Logan, you've got really small clothes, so you can get a lot in here. Usually when clothes take up about this space, they'll pack it right down to this. Mm -hmm. I can fit underwear, socks, and even t-shirts in here, and you know what, if I'm not using these particular items a lot, I mean, I am using underwear a lot, don't get me wrong, <laughs> you can put these in the corner and they stack on each other and they can kind of hide away and they store really nicely. Yeah. Um, the next thing isn't really a thing, but it's more of an app, and that is iOverlander. So mm -hmm. if you're in the van life community, you've definitely heard of it before. Everyone loves it, and for good reason. Mm -hmm. So iOverlander can tell you where you can get your water, tells you where you can fill up on propane, but most of all, it tells you where you can camp, usually for free, overnight, wild camping, uh, campground camping, whatever you choose. And there's reviews from others who have been there. Mm -hmm. There's pictures from people who have been there. And we found ourselves using it a lot when we went to California. That was the only thing we used for camping. Mm -hmm. And we're going away this weekend and we're definitely gonna be using iOverlander because it's just such a dependable resource. Alrighty. Next up, a 12 volt fan. So this one in particular is awesome because if you're a hot body like me, I mean, a warm body, then you can kind of put this off to the side, especially at nighttime in the summertime, and this will cool you down. Mm -hmm. This one's fantastic because it's 12 volt. It was purchased as 120 volt, mm -hmm. but I read the back and it did say it was a 12 volt fan. So I knew that if I cut the wires behind the 120 volt transformer, which is that big black block, mm -hmm. cut those wires, put on a USB, you can plug it right into your, your van, whether it's your car battery like at the front or whether it's your reserve solar setup. This thing can oscillate, it can be in quiet mode for when you're sleeping, it can also be in high powered mode. So it'll keep you cool on those hot summer nights. Mm -hmm. Next up is something I'm exciting, excited to have. Um, battery powered lights so i like the look of them throughout the van we hang up like fairy lights around the perimeter of the walls um they make it look really great at night but more than that they save a lot of power mm -hmm. so in winter time especially our, po our power drains a lot quicker than it would in the summer um so just having battery powered lights that you're not like 
always monitoring your batteries for mm -hmm. is really key because it gives you some light, obviously not massive light, but it makes the van look cozy and you're saving lots of power that way. Yeah, it makes it really cozy on the inside. And you know what, if you're not into those twinkle style lights, then get yourself a small lantern that's battery powered because you never know if something's gonna happen to your setup or you just need that extra safety light. Yeah. Next up, what we've got is Eva Dry. So this is a particular brand called Eva Dry, but what it really is, is it takes moisture from the air and it stores it inside of the actual case. So this one uses little beads that actually absorb the moisture and it will give you a sign on the front. If you can see here, the beads that are showing are yellow if they're dry and if they're wet, they actually change color and it'll tell you if that has absorbed its maximum amount of moisture. Once it has, they're reusable. All you gotta do is plug in the back to a 120 volt outlet. It'll dry it out. I think it takes about four to five hours, something like that. It doesn't draw a lot of power. So if you're at like a friend's house, you can plug it in or even your inverter setup. That way it'll keep your van dry. You're not gonna produce any mold and that moisture will go away. I guess another word for that would be a dehumidifier. So yes. yeah. Yeah. Standalone dehumidifier. Yeah. Um, the next thing is everyone makes dishes. Everyone has to wash their dishes and dish racks are massive if you don't get a foldable one. Mm -hmm. So what we have is one that compresses into like a tiny square um, and you just pop it away. It's not in your space all the time and it's just simple out of the way and everyone has to wash their dis dishes. So this is pretty applicable mm -hmm. to anyone. Yeah, it's got great small storage and it actually mm -hmm. looks great too. Yeah. So our number one, can I find our number one? Where'd you put it? Where'd it go? <laughs> so our number one, our most favorite item, both of us that we have to have, our most favorite van life essential, a reusable water bottle. Yep. These things are fantastic. And you know what? We both love the Nalgene's. Mm -hmm. They are durable. They come in actual nice colors so you can enjoy the look of your water bottle. You don't have to mm -hmm. have something that you don't enjoy looking at. And these things can store a lot of water and they're easy to clean. That's the basically the biggest thing. These things are easy to clean. You're not buying water bottles. And I know most of you in van life, you're not gonna go out and buy cases of water bottles. <laughs> yeah. That's just probably not who you are. So these things are the best. If we had to run out of the van with one thing because of some random emergency that we mm -hmm. hope would never happen. This is what we'd grab. Yeah, we don't go anywhere without water. We always mm -hmm. fill up our water bottles and especially like when you're on a long road trip mm -hmm. or just don't have a reliable water source. If you see a water fountain or something you trust, fill up your Nalgene or Hydro Flask or whatever you're loyal to. Mm -hmm. um, and have extra water bottles in the van so that you can fill up all of them at once and you've got a good supply if you ever need it. It should be said as well that obviously these are sealable. So you're in a van, you're in a moving vehicle, mm. whether it's a van or off-road vehicle, things are gonna be moving around, sloshing around, and this will keep it sealed rather than splashing. If you, You're not really gonna use a cup and put it in the, the, the cup holder so that the water can come fly out. Yeah. So these make the most sense. Yeah, and for all of the items we listed, everything needs a home in the van. This has a home in my backpack, in my front seat. Everything that I have, that we have on mm -hmm. the list goes in a place and we know where it is at all mm -hmm. times. So if we ever need it, we're not looking around everywhere to try and find something or it's not rolling on the floor all the time either. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching our video. If there are things that we mentioned that you want to have in your tiny home or van, all the links are below to those things. But just keep in mind, if you're going to buy something, shop secondhand first because one, it's going to save you money in the long run. We're not about making you guys spend a ton of money all at once. We don't think that's the way to success. Mm -hmm. And two, it will recycle the thing and you know it's been previously loved. So just shop secondhand. It's my favorite way to shop. Yeah, very true. And if there's some van life essential that is your number one favorite, make sure to comment below because maybe we missed it. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's something we think would go, yeah, wow, that yeah. makes total sense. Make sure to comment below because I'm sure other people want to know it too. Yeah, and just give us a subscribe if you like the video mm -hmm. and we will see you guys next week. See you later. Bye.